Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Megan Mangello in for Kyle. The prosecutor says dumb luck is the only thing keeping three teens from facing homicide charges in Claremont County. David Winter has details about what police say was supposed to be a fist fight that turned into something much more serious. David. This all went down 11 days ago. The prosecution says two young men were arguing over a text and they agreed to meet for a fight at the Lakeshore Estates Mobile Home Park in Goshen Township at 1 a.m. When they arrived, police say they showed up with more than just their fists. Uh, 12 gauge shotgun, an AR-15, and an AK-47. Chief Assistant Prosecutor David Gass describing to a judge what investigators say happened that early morning while Daniel Colgate from Loveland looked on. The 18-year-old is the one police say was supposed to fight another young man on November 10th. This is what allegedly came of that fight. Several bullet holes in cars and trailer homes. Police say the one man was hiding behind a car when Colgate and two other teens arrived. When Colgate got out of the car, police say the other man pointed a laser-sighted taser at him. Police say two other men Colgate brought with him got out of their car and opened fire with their shotgun and semi-automatic rifles. Neighbors reported hearing more than 20 shots. He ran to escape the gunfire. He tripped in the front lot of 250 while he was on the ground. The victim notes that the ground around him was being littered with bullets, which he could see. The other two men accused of holding those long guns also appearing in court and were also charged with aggravated attempted homicide. Joshua Marks from Fairfield and Vinay Julius from Monroe, both 19 years old. With the number of shots the teens allegedly fired at the victim, the prosecutor says it's amazing they are not all facing murder charges. Said the only thing that prevented it from being something like that was just dumb luck. And not just one murder charge, but perhaps several of them as those bullets easily could have killed innocent bystanders in the surrounding mobile homes. None of these young men had records. They lived at their parents' homes. They had jobs at places like Wendy's and McDonald's. And now they are in jail, held on half-million-dollar bonds, facing life in prison. Paula? Thank you, David. A grand jury meets tomorrow to determine whether to indict the teens. If that happens, the young men will be arraigned Wednesday in Common Pleas Court.